We have with us this morning Mayor of Orangeburg, Michael Butler. Michael, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Absolutely doing well, doing splendid. Um, let's talk a little bit about Mayor from your perspective. Um, obviously, there are opinions all over the place as to what we should do, what we should have done. I express my opinion every morning. I don't have a responsibility to the public. You do as the duly elected mayor of Orangeburg. Um, the first question, what economic impact has the virus had on Orangeburg, the city of which you're the mayor of, um, thus far? Well, you know that uh, we had a lot of, of, of our citizens who became unemployed during the time of this, uh, during the time of the virus, I mean, none of no no city had time to get ready for it because when we knew anything, it was upon us, and um, <clears throat> and and we had a lot of stores closed and businesses down down uh, during that time. So it had a great economic impact on on Orangeburg in this light that you know no business license was uh, being able to to purchase a lot of business uh, license because nobody was doing any any uh, uh, setting up or any work, uh, and even be with construction, construction sites was closed down. So that was, that had a, a, a that was a great um, impact on us also. Mayor, as we begin trying to get ready to open back up, different states are doing it at different times. There's a lot of creativity. Um, what would you perceive the best strategy to be to try to get things open back up in Orangeburg. Well, I, you know, I certainly, certainly, you know, we want to be data driven because that's the only thing like source we have. Because we, when we open up, we want to be safe. And uh, we've had, I think, we've had uh, about um, fifty-eight or sixty cases of people people uh, um, being tested positive, but we only had one death in this county. So. And, you know, one life is is a lot, but that, I mean, I just want to knock on wood for you know no more than that. But also, I just think that in opening up, we want to want safety is the first to keep people safety and healthy. That's the first order of business, and I think it should be a gradual gradual open. You know, we we open. The, I do agree with the governor opening the the uh, the water parks and and things like that first to see how it does then move on to other things to open up. And, and, and our ultimate goal is, you know, to get people back working so that they can take care of their families, so they can pay their bills, they can, um, you know, meet the needs of their household, and so that the merchants can get back, get back open. But I think that uh, uh, gradual, gradually is, is the most beneficial way of opening back up. Last question. Uh, this will be... Um, something that none of us prepared for. It's hard to prepare for something like this. It's hard to get every decision right. I certainly understand and respect that. A lot of talk about a new normal. There's a new normal on the other side. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if anybody really understands what the other side looks like. But but as the mayor of Orangeburg, what, what do you perceive some of the major issues to be once we do get back to some sense of normal? Once we get back to some sense of normalcy, I think that um, – I think that you know we we go this 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 virus has made a great impact on us, and we've had, kind of got used to wearing the mask, mask, kind of got used to spraying the lights up, kind of got used to washing our hands more than normal. I think that's going to be a way of life for us. I think that's going to be a way of life for us. I think that uh, I think that that uh, we're going to be very careful. I'm not going to say we'll never have. Uh, the normal life like we had before because I just, you know, I just don't know. And I just believe that if the vaccine comes out and the vaccine is is um, is approved and it works in, 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 the, in, hum, in the human body, I think that will give us, that will push us back to, you know, uh, we got something to fight it with because when we had the uh, Spanish flu, when we had the various diseases like AIDS and all that, we didn't know we was uncertain. And then when we found some medicine to help uh, extend the human life, we were able to live normal and we stopped being so afraid of it. So I think once we get medicine and it works, we might get back to a normal way of living. Mary, we appreciate your time. We're happy to be in your community. If anything or anybody or any way we can ever um, help you get a message out, please let us know. Uh, we stand ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me uh, to get the message out, and I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Have a great day.
You too, sir. There's the mayor of Orangeburg, Michael C. Butler.